How do you create error bars in a graph or chart in Excel? This is a simple example to show you around each observation. We find an up and down error bar based in this case on the standard deviation in column C. Uh, usually you want above and below if you do a two-tail testing, otherwise you want only one side either up or either down. Let's see how you create them. Let's say we have this situation. We have three different strains that were measured after one week, two weeks, three weeks. Here is the result. And we would like per strain the mean and the standard deviation around the mean. These are calculations, of course. I took the standard deviation. Sometimes you want a standard error, whatever your choice is. I won't go into that issue. So how do we get the means in there first of all. The, the easiest way is making sure that you have one uninterrupted table. So I am going to delete column E. I click anywhere inside the table and I expand this section behind the chart with one more column. That is the mean or average, whatever you want to call it, but you don't want to show it as a column because it's not an observation, it's a calculation. So I'm going to give that a different style. Right click on it, change the series chart type, the mean, not a clustered column, but a line. Okay. So these are the means, get rid of the line. I won't go into those details, that's up to you. So you get something like this. This is the mean per strain. Now we would like the standard deviation above and below to see where is the widest spread in the, in the sample. So we are going to add error bars. You click on that series of values one time, go to the design screen, add a chart element, error bars. I would not go by these standard error percentages or standard deviation, just go for more error bar options. And you got already up or down unless you change that here. And we are going to use custom values. Click on custom, specify the value. G2 for G4 above, G2 for G4 below, and we get eventually this. A similar situation. This time we are going to do the standard deviation per week. So our calculations are now at the bottom after each week. So that means that the chart has to be turned. We have to switch. Then we click inside the chart, design, switch the rows and the columns. So now we have first week, after two weeks, after three weeks. We are going to insert the mean again. You can use my trick like before. If you like to keep that space there, then just right click in there and select data and add a new series of values. I'm going to call it the mean. And the values are B6 through D66. OK it. We have the same problem here. We have to change the style, the chart type, make that clustered again. And we get something like this. Or if you take the line out, these are the means. Now we are going to add the error bars. The same story as before. How did we do it? We click on that series of values, design, add a chart element, error bars. If you ever get also error bars horizontally, then you just click on those error bars and press delete. 
very simple trick. And this is what we got. One more situation here. Uh, this is a little more complicated. It's uh, we found African American, Native Americans, Hispanics, Caucasians. The following calculations, the mean, the standard deviation, that's the number of cases. This time I did 1.96 times the standard error. The standard error is the standard deviation divided by the square root of the number of cases. So that is the formula inside here. 1.96 times standard deviation divided by the square root of the number of cases. This time I did a bar chart and not a column chart. I added my error bars. I won't explain that anymore. You may want to know how did we get these numbers here. So we are going to format the data labels. And in this case, you would say take the value from cells. Otherwise, you probably get the mean in there. Values from cells, select the range, A18 through D18. That's the range we want to show. Okay. And that's what we got in here. So those are the standard errors in the 95 percentage, uh, uh, percent range. And you see the end result. Uh, there is so much more to charts and graphs. There is so much more to statistics. So I developed for you many more tools. Free CD-ROMs. Two books, real books and e-books. And you can find all of those at genesispc.com.